Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn Let's Play. You're with Sambo, Seraphis, Thrall, and joining us here in the amphitheater here in New Gridania is Catella. Hey, Cat. Hello. Good to see you. Do you know what? This has changed just a little bit since version one. I mean, it's still the same amphitheater, but my gosh, it's a lot more colorful. Is this just because of the Moonfire Fair Summer Festival stuff, or is it always going to be this colorful? Oh, it probably won't always be this colorful because the lanterns are all from the fair. Uh, right. Right, yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Speaking of colourful folk, I can see a really colourful... Oh, you're red. Blind Rage. What? An, uh, do you know you've got some strange red growth? You really need to see a Gridanian doctor about that. Hi. Hi. Oh, my Lord. What? What is that underneath you? Have you given birth to something below you there? That's <laughs> my baby, Chigo. It's... Oh, that is cute. Where do you get that from? You get it from a quest. I can't remember which one, though. Oh, that is... That's Catella. She knows. Oh, really? Cat? It's, seriously. <laughs> it's creepy looking. It's got Put big googly eyes. It's terrible. <laughs> Okay, I see. You're trying to land her in trouble. Good to see you, by the way, Blind. Also good to see Jinx McNinja. G'day, Jinx. Hello. Now, what is that on your side? That, to me, looks like it's something just a bit special. Do you want to tell us? This is Ifrit's sword, which Wait. you get for beating hard mode Ifrit. I knew it was going to be something like that. Look at that. Congratulations to you. When did Show that off. happen? Uh, it's happened a couple weeks ago now. That is Show great. off. Yeah, he is showing off. Was it just me, or does it glow when you actually unsheathe your weapon? When you unsheathe it, it does glow, and it actually extends a tiny bit. That It'll is flick so cool. itself out. That is awesome. Hey, Cataller, have you got one of those? Oh, you're, what have you? Hang on. No, you've got something else. What is that on your back? It's Ifrit, though. That, so, hang on, same family. Okay, so, oh, yours glows as well. Oh, Blind Rage, I suppose you've got one as well, right? You've got something from Ifrit? From Ifrit? No. Oh, you, okay. All I got is a burnt butt. Uh, look, we, you've got a, you've got a burnt butt. We can be the losers club, you and me. Okay. okay. Yeah, no problem, you're happy with that? You'll ha probably get one before me, though. Well, okay. I doubt that very much. Clax, I can see I you over here as well. A big hello to you. How are you? Hey, hello, Sam. How are you? Great. Now, don't tell me you've got an Ifrit thing as well. Uh, unfortunately, no. I'm too low level yet to uh, primal okay. levels. All oh, right, yeah, hang on. Levels. You're 44. Okay, so what is that that you're wearing at the moment? Then you've got something. Is there a lancer? Would that be right? Yeah. I'm a dragoon. Oh, okay. And that looks kind of special, that weapon. Is that anything amazing? Or is it just because I've never seen anything like that before? No, it's just a quest reward. Oh, yeah. It looks great, though. By the way, good to see everybody here today. You know what? I'm kind of excited. You've got your goo boo out. I'm kind of excited today, Catella, because a bit of a special episode, I think. I know that off camera I've been doing some homework. Okay, So you'd be very, very proud of me. And I have picked up a storyline quest and it's called this the Gridanian Envoy now basically I won't go through all of this but this is given to me from Khan E. Senna now Catella you'd know who she is right mm-hmm she's yeah. the leader of uh, Gridanian's free company or grand company grand the, company the grand company well I'd like to join her free company definitely <laughs> But yeah, you know me too. What? Yeah, and look, it was such a cool little storyline, and we didn't film it because it goes on a bit long, but if you play <laughs> through the game, seriously, I don't know, what do you reckon, Jinx? Do you remember all this part of the storyline when you talk to her and there's the mage you have to fight at Tam... Tam what is it? Tam something Croft? I can't remember where it is. Do you remember all that, Jinx? It's the Guardian Tree. I do remember some of that, yes. Yeah, look, it's really cool. Yeah, that's right, Catella. The Guardian Tree. What's the name? It begins with T over there. Tam... Terra Croft I don't know there's a whole bunch of Barrow Downs over there and stuff it's really really neat and you get all these cutscenes and stuff but the whole point of this right is that she the Grand Company leader has actually given me something a bit special Cat I'll let you let the cat out of the bag on this one something very special that I now oh, have oh, yeah, oh, now have in my pocket my very bright yellow pocket and I'll explain that in just a moment Cat what have I got banana. what have I got rotten banana no. Um, so, so if I remember right, you should Orange. have an airship pass that'll That's let it. you go to the three nations. Ooh. That is the one. Can you believe this, Blind? I've actually got a pass in my pocket to be able to fly around the place. I suppose you can already you do this. You stole it. Yeah, well, can you do it already? Fly around Steel in an stuff? airship? No, no fly in an airship. Yes. Yeah, I got a little airship behind me, see? Uh, it's too small for me, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. So hang on a minute. Oh, Now, Jinx, I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of people with this wind-up airship that Blind Rage has got. Does this is this like some kind of connection? Is this significant somehow? Like if somebody's got that wind-up airship, 
Does that mean that they've gone through this Ooh, quest line as well? One, one. Oh, yeah, well, you've got one too. Yeah, so it, is that like a sign that you've already been through all of this, Jinx? I believe so, if I remember correctly, yes. Okay, yeah. all right. So, Cap, does that mean I will actually end up with, with, like, my own little airship companion soon? I believe as soon as we're done with this, you should. Oh, okay, all right. I'm very happy about that. So, long story short, Canny Santa, or Carney Santa, however you want to say her name, has basically said, hey, here's an airship pass, and you need to travel between the three allied nations to deliver her message and if I have a look at this here it actually says that she has appointed me her personal envoy and I've got to deliver a missive to the other two leaders of the Eorzean Alliance and in order to do that she bestowed upon me an airship pass which will allow me to travel by air between the three allied nations before making my way to that airship landing be sure to quiz Mother Miyun as to what awaits beyond the boundaries of the Twelveswood so I'm guessing Catella that our first stop will be Mother right? Uh-huh, yep. Okay, before we do that though, as Blind Rage pointed out, I've turned into a sort of half-rotten banana this week. And if you're wondering why, it's because, Catella, you had me doing all of the storyline quests, and the quest rewards from all of those quests were kind of like yellow gear for a marauder. Is that normal? Like, is, is it designed that as you go through the story quests, you get a whole new suit of armor? Is that the whole point? Oh, uh, yeah, it helps gear you up as you go along. Right, now, is there any reason that it's bright yellow? Because I've got to say, I'm sort of midway through gearing up as you can see I'm obviously not all the way through the entry level storyline well I can I can I am a glow stick there's no doubt about it yep but is it you're a walking glow stick is it I was gonna ask Catella is it yellow because they're my grand company colors or is that just a coincidence I think you're just lucky I, I think sometimes that's you get lucky well, I think you get different colors sometimes and I'm glad I'm unlucky <laughs> Well, okay, what do you think, Clax? Am I the luckiest person in the universe to look like this? What do you reckon, Clax? Oh, I, I, I have no comment. Uh, you, you have no comment? Okay, maybe <laughs> I need to pray to some gods to say, oh my lord. Okay, maybe I need to cry, I'm not sure. But this is definitely a bit of a change from the normal Seraphis that we've seen. But look, before we go and see Mother Cat, I know that we're here at the amphitheatre. Get a look blind. Stop laughing at me. It is a beautiful sunny day. Sorry. Once again here in Gridania. I can't actually wait, though, to get on the airship because doesn't that mean I'm going to be able to see the other world? Like Limsa Liminza and well, yeah, older. Towns. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. older, yeah. Yeah, I not just, worlds. Yeah. Well, towns. to me, they're worlds. I, I mean, I just can't wait because I've not seen Alda yet in this game. I mean, I've seen it in version one, but not here, so I can't wait for that. But you know what? As always, got a couple of mail messages. Let's hop over to the Imagine if Blind Rage was the delivery Moogle. No one would ever collect their mail because they'd be too scared I'm to click on you. I'm guarding the Moogle because you can't look at it. Moogle, I no, am. No. Well, no, I. There's going to be some something in there that you don't want to see. 12 Moogle Mails. Good Lord, let's have a quick look and see who's been writing into the show. Hey Sambo, thank you for involving me in last week's Let's Play, says Abaddon Aranel. You are more than welcome. Now we all know you like Blind Rage so much. I'm sending you this so that you'll always have him with you. Thanks again. And he, oh wow, a wind up Dullahan. Thank you, I will grab that later. That is very, very special. Thank you very much. Got another one here from Hitagashi Mori and they say, hey Sambo, happy late birthday and nothing says it better than the gift of coin just don't spend it all on me good lord 8,000 gil thank you so much there Hidugashi that is very much appreciated just reminding you guys you do not need to send me money but that's very very generous hello hello Sambo says J.U. Honey Jade I got nervous about meeting you and the fellow distant world ends on your let's play but now I've got a bit more braver to say hi I hope to see you and the others in the future and to help each other out until then see you later you know what there J.U. there's nothing to be scared about at all apart from blind rage he is a big monster but thank you very much for the 2000 hey, gil sometimes. you are all always lovable now all of this gil of course will go towards free company endeavors wherever possible so thank you very very much god slayer leo has said long live no. distant world yay have a nice day god slayer leo thank you very much for the items there there we go we've got some old dried prunes what are you saying about my eating habits there and a velveteen cow thank you very very much we've got another one here from Ryu Kit Takamaru. Hello, Ryu. And since I was cooking, they say, I thought that you could use some dinner as well. Oh, I'm always hungry. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the hard work you do with the videos and for how informative and entertaining they are. That is a lovely message. Thank you very much. We've got loaf, we've got fish, all sorts of ingredients there. And I think that's a big thank you to Catella as well for all of the organizing, producing, and writing.
writing that she does behind the scenes. Thank you, Catella, again. Coffee King says, Hey, have you ever had a tiny pet constantly pinching at your heels to keep you running? Yes, it's called Catella. Well, now you can. <laughs> Here, Sambo, I did a fate and I got two. So I decided to give you one. Good luck taking care of Cancer Junior. And I've got myself a little small shell there. Thank you very much for that minion. I will definitely detach that later on. We've got one here for, uh oh, we've got one here from Shiveria. Dear Sambo, this mail will be a two-parter. Part one, this is a little guy for I know you love pets. Don't eat him. He doesn't taste good. What his shift? Oh, got my very own bite-sized pudding. Can you believe that? Last week, Blind Rage, we were talking about yours, and I have gone and got my own one. Thank you very much, Shiv. That is lovely. And uh, here's... Uh, uh, uh. Um, yes. What, what's yes. this? You got your own one. Well, I got my own pup at last. I was jealous of well, your one. got it for you. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, look, that's not I'm all. Sorry. Part two, my friend, this is Shiv, crafted this and then decided to switch his main class, so he gave it to me, but I've got no desire to play as a marauder. I know you like to. You better believe it. I'm the best marauder in all. Oh, no, I'm not. I like it indeed. So here you go. P.S. It's for your relic. Oh, now I can tell her I'm probably going to need your help in a future episode on this one. We haven't got time to look at it today. <laughs> but she has sent me something called a Barbarian's Badish. Does that mean Very anything cool. to anyone? Yeah. yeah. Gives them time. Wow. Well, Shiv, we will talk about that in a future show. Thank you very, very much. You are lovely. Got another message here from Vela Roma Moon, and they say, just a little something to say thank you for all of the entertaining Let's Play videos. I hope one day to make it onto one of the episodes. You know what? If you'd like to make it onto an episode, Jinx McNinja will put you on the spot. What if somebody does want to make it to an episode here on our Distant World Let's Play for Final Fantasy IV? 14, a Realm Reborn. All you have to do is visit our uh, website at disworld.engine.com. There we go. Hit apply there, and one of our wonderful officers will approve or not your application, and then you'll be able to join us here in game. There's clacks running around the background there. By the way, thank you, Valmora Moon. You've given me a bite sized pudding, and I believe that I can have two of those. Of course, I can only use one. Maybe I'll be able to donate that to somebody in need as well. Clacks, I can see you over in the background there, by the way. What what have you been doing? You are level 44. What's the most recent escapades in your Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn life? Oh, I've been doing uh, a lot of dungeons. A lot of dungeons. Do you know what, Cat? I can't wait to do some dungeons. Dungeoneering is one of my favorite activities in an MMO. And of course, I think I'm just a little bit wee, a little bit small at the moment for a lot of them. And I probably haven't done a lot of the prerequisites required. Would that be right? Very soon. Very soon, she says. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Do you know what? I've got another couple of new Google Mail's here in my mailbag. Catella, have you been a bit naughty? I've, I can see they're from you. I'm going to read this out. Jenna and I... Jenna. Goodness me, where's Jenna? Jenna and I thought your Marauder Warrior armor could use a little update. Catella, you haven't been spying on me and knowing that I've been running around in this banana suit, have you? <laughs> Watch out for thongs. Yeah, do you know lodestone what? Lodestone is a magical thing. Yeah, the, oh, the lodestone is a magical thing. Blind rage. What did she mean by that? What's the lodestone got to do with anything? It lets you look up people. Yeah, look up people. So, Catella, you've been sneaky, sneaky. You can tell I look like a half rotten banana. Close thing. <laughs> I can see uh, if I log in there and look you up, I can actually see what the last thing you logged out wearing was. Oh, really? And, and it was horrendous. A, what, yeah, thank and you for that. It was this yellow outfit. Hey, no problem. Crazy. Look, I am color challenged. That's not, don't be colorist or whatever it is, if that's a word. I am very grateful though because it appears to me that I've got one, two, three, four, five items. So, should I? Oh, what have we got here? Steel, El Steel Elmo. Elmo is in this game. Are you kidding me? That is hilarious. Um, we've got a steel Elmo, a steel scale mail, steel scale fingers, steel plate belt, and a steel scale greaves. Now try saying them three times in a row. That's really hard. But hang on a minute. Are these all actually crafted items? Yeah, they are. So what? So you and Jenna made these? Most like I got I got supplies and Jenna made most of them. I made one of them because I don't have armor leveled, but I do have uh, 
leather worker, so I made the leather worker one. Well, okay, we'll have a look. I mean, I'm just hovering over these in my bag, folks. And as you can see on the tooltip down on the bottom right there, you can see a great big number in green. For example, my helm, plus 41 defense, plus 36 magic defense. They were only, like, that's like triple what I already had. These are all huge upgrades, Catella. This is unbelievable. I'm going to take all on those. And thank you very, very much. And please say thank you to Jenna. I can see there's another one here. And there we go. This is, so the toad skin breeches, these are the ones that you've made, Catella. Legs for your Marauder. Yeah, and you can actually see, like, when you um, hover over them, it should say the person's name at the bottom, even. Oh, really? Okay, look, it's not saying it there. Maybe it's because I haven't got them in my bags yet. I'll remedy that in just a second. But again, Catella, these are, like, plus 31 more than what I had. And, for example, the strength, plus 6. Accuracy, plus 7. By Vitality plus six. My existing pants didn't even have any. This is unbelievable. Take all of those. I can't believe this. Can I please now go straight to my bags and equip all this stuff now? Yeah. Yep, please. Yeah, pl <laughs> She's saying, please, for the love of God's change. Okay, let's go in here. Of course, control I, folks, is the armory chest. We know that. Let's have a look in here. We've got a hat, and I'm going to be looking for the steel Elmo. There we go. It is so much better than what I've got. I'm going to turn everything on so we can see. Oh, that looks, that looks really silly. Do you know what that looks like? It looks like the character from the PlayStation 2 game called Ico. Now, if there are any GS2 <laughs> fans there, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And that's a compliment, by the way. You're right, it does. It does, doesn't it? Here we go. We've got the steel scale male equipment. I am going to be turned into a beast here, Catella. This is incredible. I can't believe you and Jenna have done this. Equipping their some glove. Wow, look at the detail on this armor. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Uh, we've got a steel plate belt. We'll equip that. I have got my toad skin. There we go. We've got some shoes, I think. Steel scale greaves. Let's put those on. Oh my lord, this is amazing. And in fact, I think that's it, isn't it? Because the rest are jewelry items. We'll just make sure that I'm not being silly and I've got better ones in my bags. Doesn't look like it. What's that one there? No, no, that's fine. And of course, I've got my Soul of the Warrior there, and we'll talk about that in another episode. But there we go. I now know, Jinx, that I need to do something, and that is update my gear set, right? And that will basically overwrite my old one. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct, uh, sir. You see, I do listen to what you have to say. There we go. Update it. I'm, look, if you don't mind, Catella, I am absolutely wrapped about this, but if you don't mind, I'm going to turn off my helmet because it does look a bit oh, silly. Oh, yeah, you sh it's fine. <laughs> now, I'm going to also going to suggest it. Yeah, you were. I'm going to turn off my U. I also had a, took a screenshot there. There we go. And in fact, I want to take a screenshot because this is me in my new gear. Now, as I take a screenshot there, there we go. Look at me. Aren't I flash? This is, in fact, hang on a minute. I am going to do an emote. Here we go. And print screen. There we go. Nice screenshot. While I do look at everybody's gear, of course, Catella, you're wearing your... Well, you're flying the colours today, the Grand Company colours. Good to see that. You look like a dunce, Blind Rage, which is perfectly fitting. I am fitting. a dunce. There we go. And oh, my God. Jinx McNinja... I don't know if you've noticed this, Clax, but can you see what Jinx is wearing? Jinx, please tell us. You look like a Black Knight from Monty Python or from World of Warcraft. What? Where on earth did you get this incredible gear from, please? I farmed a special currency called Tombstones of Philosophy for several weeks in a high-level dungeon that to is get this gear. incredible. Congratulations to you, sir. That is amazing. In fact, I think you deserve a bow. Clax, have you ever seen anything like that? It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't seen a mini blind rage before. Ah, right, there you go. You, look, I mean, Clax, you've played other MMOs. Final Fantasy XIV's armor and weaponry, the detail here, the models, considering it's an MMO, MMO. It's got to be up there with some of the best you've ever seen, surely. Uh, I think this is the best armor I've seen in any game. Yeah, even single player stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's some single player games, you expect they've got the polygon budget to be able to go nuts. And even so, I don't reckon I've seen many things that approach the level of detail that we see here in this MMO, folks. It's an MMO. It's absolutely amazing. By the way, you're looking very, very awesome. You obviously wearing a bunch of leather. Would that be right, Clax? 
Uh, actually, it's uh, yeah. Yeah, leather. It's leather. Is this? Are you a crafter in this game yet? Like, is this stuff that you've made, or is it quest reward gear? It's a combination of quests and dungeon reward. Ah, dungeon reward. There we go. There's that D word again. I can't wait. Going to hold you to that, Catella. By the way, hopefully we'll do that in due time. But look, in the meantime, speaking of time, we need to get on with things. Yep. Thank you so much, Catella, for this gear, and thank you as well, Jenna. There we go. There's a wave for you. Really appreciate it. Does this mean I'm going to be an even more awesome? Some tank than I already was, Catella. <coughs> cough, cough. Of course. Of course it does. Always positive. All right, well, look, we'll head over to the car line canopy and uh, we'll come right back because, Catella, we need to go and see Mother, yeah? Mm hmm. All right, we'll see you guys in just one moment. And welcome back, folks. Here we go. We're at the main Etherite Plaza in Gridania and Jinx. I don't know if you can see behind you, but it looks to me like the day is getting longer. You can see the evening shadow starting to appear. And is it just me, Jinx, or is the lighting changing here as well? It's not just the skybox in the game, but the actual lighting itself seems to trigger that sort of evening feeling. Is that just me? No, that's definitely not you. I've had it where it's like, oh, it's kind of getting late. Oh, wait, this is just the server time. Yeah, <laughs> it does make you feel like that, doesn't it? It kind of tricks your senses. It's amazing. But look, let's quickly have a revisit of the journal here. Catella, I'm being asked by Kani Senna to go and speak with Mother Miyun, apparently. Is that what we need to be doing? That's correct. All right, so she, of course, is down here in the car light. Wow, look at that view. It's amazing. Oh, and you know what? Before we head in, can we just have a sneak peek around the corner here, Catella? Because back in version one, if I look out over here, hang on, if we go down the road, road further enough. Can't we see the airship dock or something around or am I dreaming? Oh see? yeah, you can kind of see it. Like the, there's those big wheels over there. Is that something to do with it? Yeah, it's right beside that. Oh, okay. So that's where that the airship platform. Oh, right. That's where they come in and out. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is actually streams of light coming through the trees there. I don't know if that's dependent on your graphical settings, but it is absolutely amazing. That's incredible. I love this. Look at the colour of the sky! Okay, let's do this, and I can see you've got your little, what is it, your wind-up, oh, I got one of those in the mail today, actually. I'm very lucky. Very lucky. Yeah! Here we go. In we it's go. me! Hey, and look, there is it. It is you. There's another Distant World member over there. Hello. Of course, you can't set foot in this game without stepping on somebody from a Distant World. Here is who we need. Mother Mion. Let's have a chat with her and see what she's got to say. It is good to see you up and about again, Seraphis. And by the way, folks, you haven't seen it, but in a cutscene, I was kind of knocked out and I ended up here in my inn. I awoke in my inn bed, so that's why she's saying I was knocked out, basically. Tell me, did you pay the Elder Seed Seer a visit as I bade? Appointed personal envoy, and of course, she's learning all about the Kani Senna stuff now, and she's very happy about that by the looks of things. And now you are to bear the Elder Seed Seer's missive to our allies. You better believe it, Mother. Well, it seems you've made an impression on the great woman. I can't argue with her judgment, though. That's right. <coughs> Cough. You've earned this honour with tireless hard work, and anyone who says you don't deserve it, Blind Rage, had better not do so in my hearing. That's right. I find myself praising you often of late. You know what, Mother? I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Yep. <clears throat> uh, but Mother is truly proud of you. Yeah, I get that a lot as well. It's okay. Short of a warrior of light. I know I'm not one of those, am I? Gosh, I can imagine no better adventurer to represent us. And that, my girl, is some compliment. But... I've flattered you enough for one day. I reckon my head's getting way too big here. I'm not going to be able to fit through the airship door. And I don't want your head to get too big or you'll struggle to lug it around the realm. Speaking of which, Eorzea is a big old place. Now that you have an airship pass, you can really start to broaden your horizons and the sky is quite literally the limit. Even if your errand didn't call for it, I would strongly suggest visiting the two other city-states of the Alliance before you go anywhere else. They are, of course, Limza Lamenza, the City of Pirates, Aurora and Mini Ninja, and Uldar, Jewel of the Desert, where Whispers XX plays the piano. That's why I want to go there. By the way, that music better be there. Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, it better be there. Once you've acquainted yourself with them, you can turn your sights on whichever lesser-trodden region takes your fancy. 
fancy. So basically, Catella, what she's saying here is this airship pass is really going to give me like a rite of passage around Eorzea. Is that right? That's right. Oh man, can't wait for this. The calamity changed the face of Eorzea, and much of her now lies in shadow beyond man's ken. It's a veritable playground for a wide-eyed adventurer like your good self. Mind you, it won't all be fun and games. Each nation faces its share of problems, from internal strife to conflict with the beast tribes and their primals. So don't be too surprised if you find yourself embroiled in the odd unsavory situation on your travels, like seeing Merrick in a pair of thongs. I wonder if Mother Mion had that in mind. No matter what difficulties you encounter, I'm confident that you will pull through and emerge the stronger for your experience. These are interesting times for Eorzea Seraphis. It's been five years now since the Calamity, but folk are finally beginning to look to the future. A period of great change is upon us, and you have a part to play in it. And if that prospect doesn't excite you, well, I don't know what will. So there we go, we have spoken to her, and it looks like I've got that part. It's now saying that I have to speak with somebody beginning with L, I can't say these names, to save myself, Lionella, Lionel Wa at the entrance mm -hmm. lobby. So what does that mean? What, is, what entrance lobby? What does that mean? So let's go downstairs. Oh, okay, downstairs, Jinx, your armor looks amazing. Seriously, you big show off, but so you should. It looks incredible. Okay, so finally we get to figure out what on earth is going on down here. Although I think I remember Airship Landing. Catella, we did something very similar in our version 1 Let's Play series, didn't we? Is this like a repeat of that? Uh, very similar. Okay, here we go. Talk to the arrivals attendant. Here we go. Let's have a look at the airship ticketer. Greetings, good madam. This is the reservation counter for Limsa Laminza bound flight. Oh, Limsa, really? Oh, are you not Seraphis Thrawin, the Elder Seed Seer's personal envoy? We at Highwind Skyways are honoured to serve you. Will you be flying with us today? Proceed to the landing area. You better believe it. This is very, very cool. Been waiting for this one. Here we go. We've been let through to the other side and now that's a bit weird because it says oh you guys can see me oh so hang on it's, yeah. it's thrown me over here but I can't see do you know what is weird the airship ticketer has a storyline quest icon above their head but hello Jinx but I can't actually get to them so is that normal <laughs> I don't know if so it's a glitch. If, if you look around, there should be like a, a white ball. A white ball. Mm. On the gangplank, like as, as if you were going to go get on the airship. Oh, wait a minute. Well, mm, I'm going down the gangplank here, and this is very cool. So this is the area. Oh, this is the area that's down the side that we were looking at before. And there's an airship standing here. This is amazing. Okay, yes, there is a gangplank white ball. So do I need yep, to click on it? click that? on it. Okay, here we go. And hang on, can I actually wander? No, I can't wander onto the airship itself can i wander out and have a look around not really but it is very cool looking i like this here we go clicking on the gangplank let's see what it's got to say board the airship yes or no absolutely you better believe it now i noticed that you guys didn't come in here so oh hang on you've got a cut scene here Attention all passengers, the airship bound for Limsa Liminza is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. Farewell, Seraphis says Mother Mion. One day, minstrels will sing of your deeds. You better believe it. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. And what a send-off, folks. Look at that. That is absolutely incredible. We even had 
Kenna Asena there was waving goodbye. There we go, flying off into the distance. to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balfour. Is really planning to take another tilt at the Orsia. Hey, what hole have you been hiding? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartina. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. Uh, my... my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Otha, my lord! Alamigo, my lord! Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume. I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, at, at once! 
And here we are folks i assume we're in yes this looks very familiar i think we're going to be finding ourselves in limsa laminza but that was a visual treat Catella certainly wasn't expecting all of that of course we've got a lovely send-off by mother and all of our crew over in gridania you know what this game does a really good job of making us feel just a wee bit special doesn't it yeah it does I really really do feel like a hero leaving but i definitely wasn't expecting star wars i mean the garland invasion <laughs> plans to be popping up there that was a bit of a special treat there that guy's just a little bit nasty blind rage do you remember watching all of this stuff yeah vaguely yeah now Vague. that you've mentioned it it yeah, was a while back yeah. though it's amazing and jinx i mean i was talking about your armor earlier i've got to say the armor that was on display with those galian folk was just a little bit special i don't suppose any players ever get to wear stuff like that uh, maybe maybe not maybe we'll maybe. have to find out he's not gonna tell me is he all right well, look in the meantime folks i hope you enjoyed that cutscene. here we are the gridanian envoy that is us and it looks to me like we've got to speak with the storm honor guard so that will be over here no doubt somewhere what do we oh look hey look who's through there and how do i get out here first arrivals attendant i assume i'm gonna have to speak with them because i can see a certain thong wear well maybe not today a normal thong wearing merrick over there i wonder if he's going to be in the mumbles as well we'll have to get out there and see first so let's have a chat with the arrival attendant ah you must be the envoy from gridania welcome to limza lamenza my lady admiral Blowfishwin, can't believe that name there, awaits your arrival. Leave the landing area indeed, please, because that means we're hopefully going to say hello to our good old mate Merrick, and there he is. Merrick, good day to you, sir. Hello. And I'll give you a hearty salute now. Of course, you are wearing full regalia, and that is very relevant here. And hello, Jinx and Cat and Clax, they've already made it here, and Blind Rage. But Merrick, tell us what you're wearing, please. I am wearing the Grand Company, uh, second lieutenant's officer garb now this is especially special here because we can see i've got to talk to the storm on a guard why is it special Be is it because it's actually the colors basically of limsa i guess isn't it because this is where your grand company is seated is that right correct this is uh this is where the grand company is and these are the colors of limsa limsa there we go and you are wearing them in fact i think your ones are even out doing the storm on a guard would that be right yeah they're just uh, you know just guards yeah they're just guards all right i hope they're bowing in your presence so let's have a chat to them. Storm Honor Guard, hello, you are the Gridanian Envoy. You better believe it. Welcome to Limsa Lamenza. The Admiral has been looking forward to your arrival. Now, Merrick, of course, here there's a lot of naval talk. I mean, they're talking about an Admiral here. Is that because the city is on the seaside, or is there some other reason? No, that's that's because the city's on the seaside, and um, Merrill Webb is actually an Admiral of the fleet that, uh, that guards the area also. Okay, so very sort of naval-themed area around here, isn't it? Which is kind of cool i like that the admiral has been looking forward to your arrival please proceed to the crow's lift at your earliest convenience it will take you to the bulwark hall once there pray speak with xanthale he will be pleased to show you into the admiral's command room on the bridge yes gosh it's like being in it was like being on a submarine or something all right here we go merrick are you able to please lead the way and uh, yep. while he does that katella how did you guys get here so very fast we took the airship oh so is it just did it take so long because of the additional cutscenes like that doesn't yeah. happen every time you get on it right no okay thank goodness for that all right so is this the lifted is this where i need to go i don't know oh, you do need I... to you need to talk to this lift attendant ah, right here ah that's why here we go ride the lift to and the drowning winch mm -hmm. no go to the uh, bulwark hall ah that's the one we need to go there we go proceed to the bulwark hall yes please indeed limsa limsa lower decks i hope you guys are excited as i am because here we go the gridanian envoy this is definitely where we need to be going over here we are now in limsa laminza and in fact if i have a look at the map proper i wonder if it's going to show us the limsa Lamenza. there we go and you guys might remember this is a maze of a place to get around clax 
if you had a choice between let's say Gridania, Limsa and Ulda as to the most difficult city to navigate, which would it be for you? Ah, uh, has to be a Lemsa. There we go. Let's go and have a chat to this person with Merrick leading the way in the Grand Company Colours, of course, of which we are not a member. What's the name of your Grand Company again, Merrick? The Maelstrom. The Maelstrom. There we go. We're in the Twin Adders. This is Mini Maelstrom. Merrick Ma- I think you have to have a name beginning with M to be a member of the Maelstrom. I could be lying. Here we go, Xanthale. Let's have a chat to him. Greetings, madam, and welcome to our fair city. If you'd permit me to examine the seal on the missive you carry, and of course I've got to... There we go. Go letter to the admiral i guess is the one that we want to hand over yes everything seems to be in order my apologies we cannot afford to be complacent you understand please step this way enter not expect the Gridanian envoy to be an adventurer. It speaks highly of your character that the Elder Seedseer would choose an outsider to represent her nation's interests. This way. I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufiskin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa and Commander of the Maelstrom. Now, what news from the Black Shroud? Hmm, a memorial service to honor the fallen? Seven Hells, has it been five years? Five years since the Galian Empire sought to wrest Eorzea from our grasp. It was in answer to the imperial threat that the city-states formed the Grand Companies and forged the Eorzean Alliance anew. But Galameld was not content to wager all on a simple contest of martial might. He had other plans. The Meteor Project, Legatus Nail Vandanus, Hell's Taken, intended to cleanse our realm by snatching the lesser moon Delamud from the heavens and casting it down a upon our heads. Desperate to protect this lunatic scheme, we marched our forces to the Cartano Flats and there met the 7th Imperial Legion in battle. Never have I seen a fight like the Battle of Cartano, and I have seen full many. But though we gave no quarter, spared not one ounce of effort, we could not prevent what followed. From inside the shell of Delamud came a winged nightmare, the dragon the size of a bloody city. Twas the elder primal Bahamut bent on making an eighth hell of Eorzea. In the space of a breath, the legions of the Empire were set aflame. While our own armies fared little better, twas as if the world was burning. Words cannot well describe the scene. And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even as I steeled myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, robbing me of my senses. When I regained them, the dragon was gone, and the still smouldering land was warped beyond all knowing. Were Archon Lusoir, Lusoir, woohoo, still with us, he would doubtless shed some light on those unfathomable happenings. Alas, he is not and I fear we will want for his wisdom in the days to come. For while our nations struggle to recover from the devastation, the beastmen call forth their damned primals to torment us anew. Unless we put aside our differences and rebuild now, our forces will catch us unprepared. And I speak not only for the beastmen. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken its claim on Eorzea. The Imperials crowd our borders waiting to strike. Damn it all, we need champions to replace those we lost. But such thoughts are worse than worthless. Time is short and none will save us, save ourselves. It is the duty of every soul who survived the calamity to work together for the good of Eorzea. And this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. I, Kani Sana, has the right of it. I accept her proposal.
Your duty is done here, adventurer. I will see to it that the Elder Seed Seer receives my reply. Your travel is next to Uldar, yes? You better believe it. Pray give my regards to General Raubarn. Oh, and tell him the wolf has been sniffing around the stables. A private jest and one in poor taste, but I would have you tell it all the same. Fare you well, Seraphis. May the Navigator guide you on your journey. And there we have it, folks. Present Kani Senna's missive to Xanthiel. We are all done. Whew. So, Catella, that was a bit of a history lesson there as well. Mm -hmm. It's amazing that it has been five years. Do you know what was a little bit odd there, I thought? Merrick, interested in your thoughts about this one as you guide me. Obviously, we have to go to the lift attendant, I'd imagine. Is that where we're headed to? Yep, go to talk to the lift attendant, go back up, and uh, time to go to uh, Ulda. One thing, oh, he's disappeared there. One thing I did find as we go to the airship landing, yes, please, weird, was that half of that was voiced and half of it wasn't. And I don't know if they ran out of development time there or what, but it's a little bit weird got to say. Anyhow, it's a minor complaint in what is otherwise an astounding game. Alright, so Merrick, thank you very much for guiding us around here. I do appreciate it, and I appreciate you getting sure. dressed up in your best garb there. I now need another ticket, I'd imagine. Let's have a chat with her. Greetings, madam. This is the counter for passengers travelling to Uldar. Woohoo, can't believe this. A pleasure to serve you again, madam. Are you ready to board the airship to Uldar? And yes, we are. Proceed to the landing area. Now, I wonder if we're going to get a big cutscene this time. I mean, I'm sure we'll get a cutscene because we're going to take off and we'll get the animation of the airship leaving and stuff. But do you remember whether or not we'll get any more Star Wars? <laughs> um, I don't think you get any more Star Wars, though I could be wrong. It's been a little bit since I've uh, done that. Yeah, of course. And this is all very exciting and I'm loving it here. And there you go, folks. A grand view. If you can just see over in the background there, down onto the center court in Limsa Lamids. And you can see there they've got the Moon Fair Festival going on. On there as well very very cool let's have a click on this gang plank and of course hopefully that will take us through to the airship animation board the airship you better believe it And there we go, folks. Another grand entrance with that incredible fanfare. Final Fantasy music, of course, being one of the highlights of this game for me. I cannot believe it, Catella. I think I'm looking around up here at the airship landing, and I can see off in the distance the beautiful purple sky of a desert night. Does this mean I'm actually in Uldar once again? That's correct. I am so happy about this because, of course, Uldar has a bit of a special place in my heart and I'm sure probably a couple of other distant world members and maybe we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's have a chat to the arrivals attendant here and see what they've got to say. Ah, you must be the envoy from Gridania. You better believe it, I am. Welcome to Uldar, madam. The Flame General awaits your arrival and, of course, here we've got yet another grand company. If I'm not mistaken, this one is all about the immortal flames of course there are three grand companies there's a twin adder for me we've got the maelstrom that we've heard from merrick there and of course the immortal flames i wonder which representative of the immortal flames we're going to get to talk to today we'll see in just a minute aha uh -huh. we are array oh they're awaiting my arrival okay let's leave the landing area here this is one of the most exciting parts for me is traveling around the world can't wait to see who we've got here we've got the flame honor guard and oh Oh, there is it. Look who's waving at us. It is Nikos Gilmaster and we've got Salita Bosom, two distant world folk there. A big welcome, Nikos. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good to see you. Look at your little cute. Oh my lord. You have to tell me what on earth is going on down here. You've got a chocobo. I've got a chocobo pet as well, but mine does not have what looks like an ifrit horn on its head. What's going on down there? That's actually the, uh, the seals. You get a seal minion 
20,000 seals and you get a hatchling that has the immortal flames sparting on it. Oh, that's what it is. That is incredible. Congratulations. That is an effort. And speaking of the immortal flames, much like Merrick was in his Maelstrom gear, are you proudly representing the immortal flames here in Ulda? Indeed I am. Well, that is fantastic. Thank you. I'm going to give you a, a very formal bow. You as my greeting to the, well, you know, as a return to Ulda. Ulda is, of course, one of my favourite spots, Nico, so I don't know if you know, but there's a special piece of music out in the deserts of Thanalan that our good mate Alina Sin, aka XX Whispers, played on the piano. I don't know, have you journeyed out into the deserts of Thanalan yet, Nikos? I have. Do you know if the desert theme music is the same as it was in version 1 of Final Fantasy XIV? That I do not know. I have two kids. Hearing the music is kind of hard. Oh, I, be- I bet it is. Do you know what? I can't wait to find out. I'm kind of glad that you don't know because it's going to be a big surprise for a future episode. But this is very special. Now, what is the axe that you're wielding at the moment? Because that looks amazing. It's the old uh, axe that you get also from Seals. Wow. I just, Do you know what, Catella? Have you got anything like this? This is amazing. Yep. That's it. You guys, oh, you're, oh, so is that, ah, you've got the bow version, is that right, of the same thing? For Gridania, yep. Yeah, for Gridania. For, for Twin Adder. For the Twin Adders, yes, indeed. Jinx, of course, in his Twin Adders. Is, now, Jinx, just one little thing before we go back to Nikos. I can see that you've got your Twin Adder outfit on, but you've also got something very interesting on your collar there. Have you squashed a bug, or what's going on? No. Actually, what you can do from one of the people at your grand company is actually put your free company crest on certain items of your gear. Right, so that is literally the Distant World crest right there on your gear. Yep, and I believe Catella has one as well. Let's have a look over here, and oh, you've got one as well, indeed. There it is. There it is right there. Hey, are we going to be able to do that ourselves, Cat? Yeah. Man, I can't wait till you can tell us how, because that means we are flying the company colours. There we go, pride and all of that. Okay, so Nikos, I've just arrived here, and it's lovely to see you. A lovely way to be welcomed back to Alda. What do I need to do now? We're just going to have to take a little run and take the elevator downstairs. Okay, all right, let's have a chat to the Flame Honor Guard before I do that, and oh, there we go. Hopefully they'll give me a nice welcome. Welcome to Aldar, madam. We've been expecting you. Flame General Rel Barn will receive you in the fragrant chamber. Well, hang on a minute. Is Blind Rage going to be in there? Because I'm sure it'll be interestingly fragrant. Please take the lift down to the Hustings Strip and speak with Bartholomew at the Royal Promenade. Okay, no problem. Nikos, where did Nikos go? And, okay, take me to your elevator, please. <laughs> I can't wait to have a good look around Aldar in future episodes as well. Now, obviously, Nikos, you played a lot of version 1. What do you thank you very much? What do you think of the version 2 or a Realm Reborn version of Alda? Do you like the original or this one better? And are they any different basically? There's not many differences to tell you the truth about Alda. Oh, okay, that's good. Been. So so if you're used to the old one in terms of navigating your way around, you're not going to get lost here? Well, I get lost anyways, but no, <laughs> it's, it's pretty much the same. I'm pretty much the same way as well. In fact, if we have a look here, oh look, there we go. You can see that circular hub of the familiar map in the background there. Yeah, okay, that's good to know. All right, let's have a chat with the lift attendant, and I need to go to the Hustings Strip. I can see there Merrick. The other option I've got is ride to the Ruby Road Exchange. I remember that from version one. That's definitely basically taking us down into Aldar proper, if I was to click on that one, right? That is correct. All right, let's go to the Hustings Strip. Yes, please because that's where we need to go for this storyline quest of course is what we're doing right now folks and all of you will have an opportunity to go through this yourselves there's blind rage almost landing right on top of me nico so this is very regal looking around here they're rolling out the red carpet for us absolutely amazing where do i need to go now i think i do i need to wander around like i don't know i've got no quest yep. hand in here we're gonna go do the roundabout. Okay, no problem. I'm following you. Following you indeed. Now, is this an. Well, obviously, this is an area that everyone's able to get to because you're in here as well. Oh, an Ethernet shard. Do I want to pick this up yet? Yes, you do. You can. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good stuff. Handy. There we go. Attuning to that one there. And of course, you guys remember. There we go. Ethernet access to the Chamber of Rule. You guys remember why we do that. Let's have a look down there. Oh, familiar sights down there. Look at that. The seats around the fountain. That is so very, very cool. All right, sorry, Nikos. I'm getting distracted. I'm going to follow you around. It's all right. So easy to do in this game, of course. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. There's a character. I believe it's a player character. And their surname is Gainsborough. 
Now that is very cool. I like that one. Any of you Final Fantasy VII fans should know exactly why they've called themselves that. Wow, look at the. This is really very regal around here, isn't it? This is amazing. Now, is this a. This is like a grand company area, right, Nikos? Because, I mean, this is all black and gold. Are they your colours? Yes, indeed they are. Looks They're amazing. going straight to the royal chamber, the royal promenade, which is actually wow. translates to the royal walk. Wow, okay, so it's about as hoity flatoity as we can get. There we go, Bartholomew, let's have a chat with him, see what he's got to say. The Gridanian envoy, I presume, you better believe it, that is us. Would you be so good as to allow me to inspect the missive you bear, madam? Yeah, okay, they've got to kind of, it's like showing my papers, isn't it? There we go, hand over the missive. Ah yes, the seal of the Elder Seed Seer. Please proceed. Ah, a guest from Gridania. I thought I smelled blue. I won't hold it against you. If you're half the warrior Carnesis, it is a wonder you don't reek of dead exile. Welcome to the Sultanate of Uldan. I am Ravan Amdin, General of the Immortal Flames. But you did not come all this way to trade formalities. Cartano, eh? I remember bloody Cartano. Do you know what happened that day, adventurer, when we took the field against the Garleans? So, my counterparts have educated you. Oh, trust Merylweb to make light of our wolf problem. Woman always did have a black sense of humour. Of course, that is the joke that we were asked to pass on there. Wolves are bloodthirsty beasts upon which one cannot turn one's back. It is only a matter of time before they bite. So it was with the Garleans 50 years ago. No sooner had they learned how to use Magitek than they began seizing territory from their neighbours. Led by the then Legatus Solus Zos Galvis, they swiftly brought the other nations of Isilbard to heel. And so the Legatus became an emperor and his republic an empire. An empire which then set its sights upon Eorzea. But the conquering emperor is now an old man of four score winters. His health is failing and he has no clear successor. Like as not, this is why the Garleans have been quiet of late. But the 14th Imperial Legion is still entrenched within our borders, and their commander, Legatus Gaius van Balsar, Battlestar Galactica, sorry, I had to say that, has long harbored ambitions of conquest. Were he to strike now, I feel we would fall like so many others before us, and not only Ulda, but Gridania and Limsa Lamenta as well. For the calamity brought the lot of us to our knees, and we've yet to get up. We barely have the strength to stand against the beast tribes, never mind the primals they mean to summon. We are a realm divided adventurer, an alliance in name only. But the wolf cares not for the plight of its prey. The Garleans stir and the Admiral would not let it go unnoticed. All other concerns pale in comparison to the Empire, even the beast tribes and their bloody primals. We must stand united once more, that much is clear. And if we're to do so, we must remember the cause which last brought us together. Kane will have her memorial. We will honour the memory of the fallen. We will remind the people what their brothers and sisters fought and died for. Well, I've got to say, creepiest stare of the year award goes to this woman here with the glasses. That, oh, she blinked. There we go. Shall I inform the Sultana and the Syndicate? I will speak with her grace myself. Very good, sir. The Elder Seed Seer will have my reply anon. My thanks to you, adventurer. And there we go. I can't believe this. I have got a complete screen coming up in front of me. And Catella, if I hover over the rewards, it's saying I'm going to get myself a wind-up airship. Are you joking? Really? Yep. 
That's oh. what you'll get. Oh my lord, I can't believe this. You may now make use quest complete of the airship routes connecting the three nations. Airships are now accessible. Before you may board an airship, you must pay the requisite fare in Gil. Let's have a look here. Achievement unlocked. Gone from Gridania and we've got a little, little help thing on minions there. I don't know why because I've already received a whole bunch of them. But there we go. Now, before I go any further, there's two things I do want to do. Catella. Firstly is I want to go into my bags and I want make sure that I get this wind up airship going there we go and I want to go to my actions and traits go to my minions and bring out my wind up airship I'm just gonna drop it on my hotbar there in a stupid place but it doesn't matter because I really want to open it up and there it is I finally got my own wind up airship you know we saw them pretty much day one of starting filming here in a realm reborn and I said to myself you know what? I really want one of those we've got one now so thanks to everyone in this episode who helped me get that I, other thing I want to do is speak with Bartholomew here because you tell he's got a follow-up for my storyline quest. I'm presuming I want to pick this up. Yeah, go ahead and pick it up. Okay, Bartholomew has information that may be of interest to you. Ah, my lady envoy, I trust your stay in the Sultanate has been pleasant. Now, if you do not mind my asking, do you perchance have plans to visit Limsa Lamenza in the near future? If so, I have information that may be of interest to you. I once accompanied the Flame General to an official visit to the seaside city-state, during which time I became acquainted with Baderon, the proprietor of the Drowning Wench. Well, the man sent word just now that he is a job for a capable adventurer. I can think of none with better credentials than you. Baderon would doubtless be pleased if you were to offer him your services. So I've accepted that here and it's basically Call of the Sea and I'm guessing could tell that the Drowning Wench is pretty much the Adventurers Guild here in Limsa Liminza, if I remember rightly. Is that correct? It is the one in Limsa. So there we go, all wrapped up. And once again, Merrick, thank you very much. Jinx McNinja, thank you, sir. <laughs> Blind, thank you as always. And Catella, thank Thank you as well. Flying the distant world colours there. Nikos, I think he's gone AFK to look after the kids. Thank you very Oh no, you might be back now, Nikos. If you're there, thank you very much as well. Catella, I am done. The objectives for today's episode have been completed. I have now got my little wind-up airship and I can freely travel between Limsa Liminza, Gridania and Alda. And you know what? I can't wait. You know the first place I want to go in a future episode will be the desert, right? No matter what we're doing, can we please go to the desert at some point? so I can listen to the music. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But in I the think, meantime, uh, what are we going to do now? I think uh, we should take you somewhere special, somewhere that you'll know once we get there. Mm. So if you want to follow. Okay, all right. I will blindly... Um, um, it's the blind leading the blind here, I think. I don't know. I definitely know that there are very many special areas here in Ulda, and I'm kind of hoping, Kat, that you're going to take me to one that I have got front of mind. But we shall see in just a moment, folks. We'll be right back. And welcome back everyone. Here we are. We are in what I know is going to be a very, very special place. As I look out ahead of us there, guys, uh, this is a very familiar looking market space row. Merrick, is this the same market space row that was in version one? And if so, I know that it leads to a very, very special place at the end of it. Am I thinking clearly, Merrick? Uh, yeah, you're thinking clearly. It looks a little bit different in 2.0, but it's basically the same place. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Catella. I don't know about you but are you starting to get some pretty awesome memories coming back flooding back in yeah because i know if i went and looked at a certain let's play video named distant world i'm pretty sure we're going to find the same place and look at this coming into view folks as we walk down for the very first time into alder a very very special area covered with very very special people if you were around during the very birth of a distant world back in the day you will recognize this area here as the birthplace in fact of distant world right here this is where we stood when Pico, Sayomeo and myself joined what were then a bunch of strangers to create the link shell called distant world and here we are once again surrounded by the current members of distant world here in Final Fantasy a realm reborn I would love to say a big hello to them all are you there distant world hello hello, hello. 
They are here indeed as I pan around. Look at this. A whole bunch of familiar faces and names here. It's incredible. You know what, Catella, is the best thing about this, is that now that we're in the new engine, we can actually render everybody here this time. Of course, in yeah. version one, how, we could only see about five or ten at a time, right? Yeah. It's a definitely a different world here. Now, there's a BC, there's Scarlet Rosebud dancing away, as always. We've got Lyra there down there, Steph, of course, we know well. And I heard, Catella, that we've got a very special guest here today. And in fact, I think I can see him. Is that, is that Pico Man over there, Catella? That is Pico, is it not? Look at this. In fact, Pico, are you in the mumbles? Hello, Pico, are you there? Yep, I'm here. Oh, you're there. Now, come on. You must be feeling the feels right about now. Pico's here. Catella's here. We've got Gur over the background there. Big hello to you, Gur. We've got Merrick. A whole bunch Gurr. of people that were actually here in that episode, what was it, number 46, back in our very first Let's Play series. Come on, are the feels running thick for you right now? Yeah, I remember it, like it was yesterday, but it's a long time ago now. It, it, it is a long time. When, you, when you, you go back and look at that episode, um, some of the names that you see, and everyone's still around, it's really nice. Yeah, in fact, you know what, just before the filming of the show, we went and had looked at that video, and you made a beautiful comment on that video. And then, folks, by the way, I'll link it in the description below this one, so you can go and have a bit of a look, because Pico, you did mention that. You said that it's interesting looking at it. In fact, I think you're comment is about six months old he said it's very interesting going back and looking at all of this now and thinking about how far we have come in the game and how far we have come as a community but of course how far we have come as a link shell and now of course a free company now you're wearing some very interesting looking clothes there Pico now if you care to tell me what your hat and robe are for a start and are they dyed red because you have done that yeah I think the default color is grey or something but uh yeah, it's like a craftable set. Yeah, right. So, of course, you've crafted something. But I can see that you're holding up something special there. Now, Catella, before I ask Pico about this, is this something that anyone would be a little bit excited for? This is something that a lot of people would be a lot of bit excited for. <laughs> I can see he's doing something there. And I, is that what he just did there? Is that the weapon performing that animation, Catella? I think he casted something, but... You can see the weapon has nice animation. It definitely does. In fact, I'm just going to take away the UI there for a moment. That is incredible. Pico, a lot of people have been wishing you a lot of congratulations over the past few minutes. Is it good timing that we are all here at the birthplace? This is my first time here in A Realm Reborn, so I'm very, very humbled to be here surrounded by our distant world members. But apparently, something just a little bit special has happened to you today. Do you care to explain? Yeah. Yeah, well, this weapon I have here is only about 10 minutes old because I just finally completed the Relic Plus One quest. The Relic Plus One quest. Now, you're, you know, I'm a, an idiot when it comes to stuff like this, so you're going to have to explain to me what is the Relic Plus One quest, please. Well, for me, it's Black Mage, and this one's called the Stardust Broad. I actually started putting this together way back in the Impact World, doing the original quest for a lot of grinding. And just today, 10 minutes ago, finally accomplished. So, hang on a minute. When you say there's a lot of effort, how long has it been then, in total time, hard work for you to actually get this weapon? Um, I probably started this a year ago, I think. A, a year? Do, do we hear you right there? You started planning for this a year ago. You are joking me. No. Do you know what? Back in the day, you had to do a lot of crazy stuff. But um, the kind of feeling at this time, but the fights were still really hard, and the plan managed to kill Titan in hard mode to finish the quest. So, am I to take it then that you have just recently completed that fight? Yep, I also got a reward first time, no, oh, beginner's luck really, because I got this one as well. Okay, so hang on, you're now wielding something else. What on earth is that, please? This is the Black Mage weapon for, from Titan. And I don't really know what it looks like, kind of so, hang on. a scoop. Yeah, it is like a scoop, isn't it? Like a great big ice cream, a very, very expensive, amazing ice cream. This is from Titan. So, what, hang on, what was the name of the instance or the dungeon you were just in? What's the name of the fight? Oh, it's, the, it's called the Naval, and you, you face up to Titan, but it's the, the difficult mode, so it takes a lot of effort. And, uh, 
and congratulations mm-hmm. are in order I think is what we're wanting to say here this is amazing would it be fair to say that you are the first person in our free company to accomplish this task well I think um, the lady has actually accomplished yeah. it before me is that right so lady is well that's absolutely incredible I don't think lady is actually joining us unfortunately today in the chat but do you know what that's great that is fantastic congratulations to lady and of course congratulations to you too Merrick you know what I think that that finally trumps your time lost proto Drake what do you reckon well I mean <laughs> there's no time lost proto Drake here in, uh, in Final <laughs> Fantasy so yeah I would say so <laughs> there has to be a caveat there that is incredible do you know what Catella are you is this a journey that you're planning on going on yourself it is and it's got obviously going to be a very very long one what about you Jinx I can see you standing next to it here is this something that you're wanting to get eventually oh yes very much and Nikos what about you we've been speaking with you today Nikos is this something you're near to getting oh you're gonna make me cry I actually ended up abandoning my relic quest by mistake and have to start over oh no oh that's terrible can you imagine that Pico can you imagine if you had to do that that would be horrific that would be horrific I'm so sorry to hear that Nikos but look you know what Pico from my mistakes yeah but you know what it's just a, a new journey and according to what Pico was saying it's a little bit more streamlined here now anyway in a realm reborn so there you go do you know what I can see very quickly Shiv and Armadeus down there I hope Shiv that you are green with envy you have no idea you have no idea do you know what I think it's definitely worth saying a big congratulations to you Pico and to Lady of course for getting that that is you know it couldn't be more fitting today here again as I pan around the camera and we can see well dear idea we can see Rin in their thong there Rin you need to put some clothes on there sir um, a whole bunch of current distant world members where we all began here right where we all began in Alimsa Limsa with Sayo Mayo and Pika Man it seems like a very fitting complete 360 as you can see everyone here is around me in a circle this is incredible I cannot wait to join us all as we adventure through Uldar and of course like I said earlier I can't wait to go out into the desert Catella can you give me a little clue am I going to be disappointed or am I going to be happy do you think um so the one that you're looking for might not be where you think it is oh but I don't think you're going to be disappointed oh that's a, okay you know what I can't wait and I hope you get to guide me out so there yes and no yes and no now blind rage finally what about you you're standing next to the man himself standing next to Pico man here with his incredible weapon is this a journey that you're wanting to undertake as well uh, um, yeah everybody in this game is yeah I'd imagine Imagine so. Well, there you go. I'm making sure that I'm getting lots of screenshots here as well of that incredible weapon. Congratulations once again, Pico, and it's great to be able to have you here in Mumble right where we began. So there we go, folks. I finally made my way over. I'd like to thank, as always, every single one of the members of Distant World who came and joined us here in game, and all of you hardy souls who listen along in the Mumble as well. We do appreciate your time. We know everybody is busy. Congratulations to Pico on that incredible task, and hopefully you set a trend of Distant World members. I'd also like to thank Blind Rage, Clax, Jinx, Merrick, Nikos for joining me and guiding me through my quests today in order to get to Limsa, Liminza and here in order. And of course, as always, I'd like to thank Catella for writing the show, producing the show and doing all the hard work in the background week in and week out to make sure you guys get some quality entertainment and get to understand what this game is about. But we have completely run out of time. That is it, folks. Certainly hope you'll join us next week. Lord only knows what you've got lined up. Catella, do we have any plans for next week? Um, well, the one you just picked up, we will be finishing that out, and I think you will be able to actually see a dungeon here soon. <gasps> you know what? I can't wait to see a dungeon, because of course dungeons are, don't you are oh me, dungeons are why I play MMOs. I absolutely love it. Let's see if I can be the world's greatest tank. We'll have to wait and see. We're all going to die. We need to get no, out no, of no. here. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I didn't die last week, and when I did my storyline stuff, I didn't die once either. So, you know, Maybe there is hope. We need to get out of here, folks. Yeah, we're all die. I am there not going to die. <laughs> on behalf of myself, Sambo, Seraphis here, and everyone who joins us in the episode, so I'm saying take care. Hope you guys are having a great week wherever you are in the world. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then, and bye-bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.